let's answer the question what is composable commerce and composable OTT and what is the difference between this and Mach architecture? Our industry is full of tech jargon, terms like SaaS, headless, Mach and now this composable. What is it? Gartner introduced this term of composable commerce about five years ago, offering a framework to understand how to build commerce experiences from individual components or what they called packaged business capabilities. Let's break this down. Gartner's model divides e-commerce experiences into three dimensions. The technical stack, the customer journey and business capabilities, functional components. The tech stack, which can be split into data, logic and experience layers, forms the foundation. Traditionally, you get a pre-integrated platform, which focused mainly on customizing part of the front end. This led to these typical monolithic systems where everything sooner or later was fused together, despite initial aim for modularity. Headless architecture addressed this by decoupling the presentation layer from the logic layer using APIs in between. This allowed easier development and deployment and enabled consistent user experiences across all these different devices and channels. Headless also introduced flexibility, letting you source APIs from various vendors. For example, your CMS could be from one vendor uh, and your core CRM could come via API from another vendor. This flexibility is where Mach architecture, microservices, API first, cloud native and headless come into play, focusing on how the technical stack is constructed. Composable commerce takes it a step further by focus, focusing on business capabilities. These capabilities can be delivered by either a macro API or microservices from Mach vendors. The difference to composable. Mach makes it easier to build composable solution, but it doesn't require using only Mach technologies. This is useful for legacy systems, allowing you to wrap your existing monolithic legacy system in an API, making it headless and gradually replace components. However, there's a risk of ending up with a disjointed system if you are not careful with your selections. So in summary, Composable OTT is about defining experiences with packaged business capabilities, while Mach architecture is about the technical execution. I hope that clarifies the concept and the difference between these two buzzwords. If you found this helpful, watch the other videos on wherever you see this. Um, and let's get into exchange on your specific business needs and how you could build your next OTT platform. Thanks for watching and see you next time.